Okay, welcome back to another video everybody. I'm Sam Price from Arxia Skimboards here in the Bay of Islands, New Zealand as mentioned in the intro. This video here is just a really quick look about this here pro model for Daniel I apologize if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong Daniel, but Daniel Nying from the Philippines He is a sponsored rider. Uh, I sponsored Daniel last year around October November uh, 2021 and sort of kept in touch and wanted to develop and produce a board more suitable towards his needs and of course a way to provide a little bit of funding for Daniel in the Philippines. Now this here board, this is about his pro model there is, as of the time of this filming there is, this is one of one. Um, as it's a pro model, I'm undecided if these are going to be produced on a, on a custom only basis or they will be off the shelf. They're more than likely going to be off the shelf but of course as this is the very first, this is going to Daniel as it is his pro model which he has named the Mac Tail. Um, of course these are not available until he has trialled it. And all of this video is really about is just a look at what the Mac Tail is all about. Now this one here was pretty much just a custom um, I added as many tweaks and little options to it as possible for this pro model. What we see in the outline here of this board, it is a fraction longer than the conventional kingfish and it is a fraction narrower. This should help Daniel with a bit more drive on down the line manoeuvres because um, he does skim a lot of little liners in the Philippines and it will of course, Daniel is one of the few riders in the world who can land at things like a varial flip and this over the traditional kingfish which is what he has been riding will help him in a very small minute manner uh, with those flip tricks. Um, we have pulled in the nose for a little bit to help with a little bit of maneuverability and of course a deeper swallow tail at the back and a very small wing. Now all of these are basically have been constructed on the board to help him with maneuverability and drive with the board. Daniel is an incredibly fast and agile skimboarder. He is doing things on a skimboard that I've never really seen and is an exceptional talent out, out of the Philippines hence why I've wanted to do a pro model for him and hopefully fund his dream of you know one day being able to properly do something with skimboarding. Um, this particular board the lap on this board it did have a Philippines flag resin art on the bottom of course the guy who made it uh, neglected the mirroring image of the colors there so they're around the wrong way but um, besides that we have a triple carbon construction now most I'll speak for most or myself in particular. A normal carbon board, there is only one manufacturer out there who really lists carbon as a double carbon. Everyone I know who makes a carbon board, boards are produced in a double carbon construction. That means that there's a layer on the top and a layer on the bottom. This one here is a triple carbon or like I'm going to call it is the 150 carbon, 150% of normal. Um, and that means there is two layers of carbon on the bottom, one on top, and what this also means is that it's quite a large increase in strength and response to the board as well as a slight reduction in overall weight because what that means by adding carbon we can pull a little bit of fiberglass although I am not really striving for the lightest board possible because uh, we get a lot of wind here in New Zealand. This board here weighs about somewhere about the two kilo mark, sort of 4.4 pounds. Incredibly durable, incredibly strong and of course for the first time I have added rail channels to this here Pro model which basically gives a great rail and a great edge for Daniel to be able to do grabs. Daniel does a lot of grabs and it does increase the overall strength of the board by adding curvature to the deck. Of course if you could picture it like a curve is stronger than any flat. So if you were glassing the top of the board is the same as the bottom. The top of the board is actually stronger than the bottom because there is a curve of a rail and of course with these rail channels you've, du you've essentially sort of doubled that up so you are adding a little bit of strength to the board strength and response as well as the wing now with a wider outline board like the traditional kingfish it can be a little bit uh it, it can be a bit guilty of getting stuck in the turns and it is harder to turn so what the wing does is allow essentially the tail size to drop down a size and board and help with response of the board and lastly in this particular one and I have been trialing it on a couple of boards you cannot see this in here I have added little wear patches to the tail now these are embedded into the foam these will be uh, can be done at a custom 
It's a custom watch from Tool Boards. I probably will not be adding these to just off the shelf items. Um, there's a couple little carbon patches here and, and under the tail, e-glass boards will have e-glass patches and basically this is just an addition as for longevity of the, war, the wear of the board. There is in total, through these tail areas, there is four total layers of carbon. The wear patches themselves are quite small then they're, they're not they don't run way up the board and they're not going to add strength or anything to the board all they're going to do is just long term increase that long term wearability at the tail of the board and really that's it this board in particular as i mentioned is one of one so this is heading to the philippines for daniel to ride no product will be released um, in this pro model the mac tail until daniel has basically given it the thumbs up and then the board will be more than likely available in all layups guises and things like that available at oxsskinboards.co.nz you can of course get in touch by me by using any of the contact details down below um, there's plenty of board options available at already mentioned oxsskinboards.co.nz and lastly i'll drop daniel's instagram down below as he's up to some pretty wild stuff and will no doubt be testing this board very thoroughly when it gets to him in the philippines shortly i'm sam price I'll see you at the beach.